I just entered the ferry to Busan in South Korea. This is where I'm sleeping tonight. Mm -hmm. We didn't get a TV. They even had two hot springs on the boat, which was really nice. Just arrived to Busan in South Korea. Maybe not the best weather yet. Hey, so I'm going to follow the South Four Korea. River Trail from Busan up to Seoul, which is the green, brown and blue line that you can see on this map. Feels like it's impossible to get out of Busan. It's just the stairs everywhere and not really any roads. And it's really, really steep. I found some kind of elevator. It takes me up. So this is the start of Nakdong River. They're gonna take me the whole way up to Seoul. So I'm feeling super excited that this is gonna be my home for the next couple of days. I'm super curious about uh, South uh, Korea. And it looks like I'm gonna follow this bike path for at least 500 kilometers next to this river. This is always nice when you think you have a massive climb in front of you, but there is a bike tunnel. Thank you. Maza Maza. It was really nice to not need to look at the map for four days. Since I was in Japan, I had to stop in every crossing. So this was really relaxing for my brain. Okay, it's pretty gross. All this is just flies everywhere. All over. It's like millions of them. Look. Nice. Check this out. It's like, a, first of all, like a campsite, but also for bike touring people. Showers and stuff, so it's gonna be super luxury to have two showers in a row. This is now my first evening in South Korea, looks like. It's been a beautiful day. I started pretty late biking and it was hard to get out of Busan, the town. I almost thought I was not gonna be able to make it <laughs> because the maps didn't work and you weren't allowed to bike anywhere and it was tunnels and stuff. But um, yeah, I did 120 kilometers in the end. It's all good. All right. This is my first night in South Korea. And I found one of those pavilions so you could just sleep with your inner tent so it doesn't get so warm during the night. And it protects you if it starts raining as well. I would definitely recommend this tour for someone that is new on bike touring. This is so convenient and easy with like a lot of pit stops along the way and you don't need to follow the map. It's really good signs the whole way. lamps with the sun cell charger on the top. Mm, that would be something. So cool with all these bridges that are built up just for people on bikes. So this is the river that we follow every day. See the mountains in the background. It's just very nice. Right, so I met this super cool chick, Fran, from Germany. <laughs> so where are you going on your bike and with your setup? Yeah, all my stuff. I've got way too much. Um, I'm going to Busan and maybe Jeju Island. Want to explore a little bit of Korea first time here, and then I'm heading to Japan. And then after that, I'm going to Vietnam, Laos, Thailand. So maybe our roads are crossing there if we're lucky. Hopefully, it would be nice. 
Okay, and just one more thing. How many years have you been out with your bike? How many what? Years. Years. Uh, like on the bike, on and off, but I haven't been home for three and a half years. That's pretty cool. All <laughs> right, we wish Fran good luck. Pretty nice afternoon. I'm on the bike track. Had a long day, 170 kilometers, almost done. And two big climbs as well. This is a pretty cool setup, I must say. <laughs> Pretty cool water station, looks like a spaceship. So here you get to see how my evening routine looks like when I'm putting the tent up. It's pretty easy and it takes me probably around two minutes to fix it all. I'm really thankful that Ute Depot and the Expert International are supporting me with all this good gear. Time for a new morning and some new bike lanes. There's Temple. So it's a little bit sad because today I have the biggest climb I would have on this South Korean trip. And it's this kind of weather as you can see. So I don't think I will see much from the top unfortunately. top of this massive climb and this is all we can see down there you have the motorway well well let's go down cool. today I'm making food in the style mi goreng mmm yummy Fashion Week. It's South Korea this time, and I'm representing this really nice uh, gallon that you can wear while it's raining. Okay, guys, I reached a new lowest of the lowest. I'm sleeping in a smoking room tonight because it's pouring down rain. So let's go in and have a look. This is where I'm sleeping, and there is the biggest ashtray we've ever seen. Pretty gross, but at least it's a room and I have somewhere to stay. This is how it looks like in the town. Okay, so here is more way how to travel. Hey, can I say hi to you? Hey, she and Hey. One more tunnel, only made for bicycles. Getting in towards Seoul. Pretty nice with the mountains in the background there. I met this girls. I, <laughs> I just met this girls Hi. biking and they're helping me nice to find to my way you. out to stay. <laughs> it's just cool. They have their own even roundabout for bikes. Everything is made for bikes. Trying some Korean food. Let's see how this goes. Kimchi. This is how Seoul looks by night time. Now we're gonna see if we can make it over to the island where the airport is. Because otherwise it's only a train you can take and you need to pack your bike in a box before that. So let's see. I can see the airport. So let's go and see if we find any tickets. I know you Vietnam today. Hmm? I didn't find a good ticket, so I decided to stay two more nights in South Korea. This is where I'm planning to pitch my tent tonight. If they don't put on the lights in here. This is where I've been spending my day today. 
Beach, South Korea. have this hot springs so you just sit with your feet in here and it's just like a public place people can just sit and chill and relax very nice finally got a box for my bicycle thanks to this amazing girl in the bike shop here and uh, so now I will just get to the airport I just been into town here and I picked up this bicycle box that you can see in the back of me and I rolled it together and now I'm on my way to the airport and then tomorrow morning at 6 I'm taking off to Hanoi in Vietnam with the sun this is pretty insane when it's low tide it goes so quick out and as you can see, normally it's water to out there where the bridge. This is like halfway on the bridge. It's crazy how low it is. I think the ships out there is kind of stranded, not ships, but chip, whatever you guys call it in England. <laughs> Back at the airport, pretty proud of myself actually to get here without using the train, which 99% of the people with the bicycle would do. So I biked my way and I took a ferry and yeah, now I'm here. I had four days biking in South Korea and I did 628 kilometers. I definitely want to come back and do the East Coast and explore some more and I can fully recommend for you guys to come here and do a bike tour. For now I'm saying goodbye to South Korea and I'm catching a flight to Hanoi in Vietnam where my bike tour will continue.